when Positive Progressions was nominated, I was absolutely thrilled because it does such a lot of good. And actually, it's quite a lot of our learners are from quite rural locations. And I think urban areas get quite a lot of focus, but our learners have got other barriers, just like there's no buses necessarily to get places. There are fewer job opportunities. And so straight away, they're already disadvantaged. Um, and I think it's great for a project such as this to to win the award because it, it puts it on the map. We are working with York City Council. The project runs in Craven, York, Selby and Harrogate. And we work with the Citizens Advice Bureau and Homestart so that we have clear referrals into the project. In all of those areas, we give them a key worker so they have one-to-one -one bespoke support to move them into employment. When people haven't done well at school, uh, then they achieve something, even if it's a one-day first aid course, whether it's a, a, a short confidence building course, they're holding that certificate and they're so excited about what they can sign up to next because they just feel like they've achieved so much. And actually, it's, it's addictive learning and so they just want to keep going and doing more and more. Every time somebody gets a job, uh, in our team, you know, it's like we want to ring a bell because actually that's why we're doing it. People that never thought they'd ever work and especially getting a job that really works for them. Um, so we had a, a participant who was hearing impaired and they, they gained employment in a hotel and actually the key worker went with them, supported them, wrote everything down for them, just put a real plan in place so that there was nothing that was scary there was nothing that wasn't right. And so I think to really break down those barriers for anyone, uh, no matter what your, you know, what's going on in your life, it, it's, it, it makes it worthwhile. You know, I feel like we are changing lives. I mean, 51% of our participants have gained employment and a lot of them have never worked or have been out of work for a very long time. We've done some research recently on like six months later after leaving the project and all of them, were either in the job or still in the course or uh, still engaged with what they're doing or they'd got a better job and they'd reduced their benefits because they were now earning more they were accessing fewer support services um, and they just they they were owning and controlling their lives and that their children were attending school they all just were happier you know that our we measure their mental health and uh, their resilience scores and they were still as high as when they finished the project. So the, the project not only was getting people into work or progressing them, but they were sticking at it. They were still in it. And to me, that's having sustainable progression is the most important thing.